I've tasted brandies before, of course, but I haven't like really articulated one, so this is new. Hey guys, welcome back to Doob's Booze Reviews. This is the first brandy that I've done on this channel. This is Colvalsier's limited edition sherry cask cognac. Valsier started just north of the Seine River, just outside of Paris. They later moved to a region of cognac to perfect their brandy and have it be a cognac. This is their limited edition sherry cask, so it does a second maturation in sherry casks from southern Spain. They specifically chose these for the rich color and intense flavor that Spain sherry casks have. So let's give this a try. Wow. That nose is incredible. You get a little thing on the front of your nose, but man, as far as flavor, there's everything from raisin, cherry, southern spices, and a little bit of a leathery smell as well. Whoa, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of campfire smoke. Wow. Oh man. This is fun. This is cool. Okay, so right as you take a sip, it's pretty smooth. You get some nice vanilla and raisin notes. And then as it goes through, you get some spice. That raisin starts to turn more cherry-like. And then you get kind of the same sort of sherry notes as like, like an Angel's Envy or like some whiskeys that have been aged in sherry or port casks. On the finish, you get more like smokiness and a little bit of kind of like the barrel char. So it really goes through a nice timeline. You definitely still get the apricot. That's kind of right up front with the raisin, vanilla, apricot, peach. A good cocktail for this one. I would definitely use it in a very spirit forward cocktail if you're gonna use it in one, just because all of those little nuances are so fun to find that you don't wanna lose them, you know? It would be really good in an old fashioned. And the reason why would be you get all those little nuances and stuff, you make it a little bit sweeter with the simple syrup. So it kind of, it caters to not being so harsh and the ice would definitely be a little smoother. And then the bitters would just add a little bit. I wouldn't add too much bitters because you don't wanna lose what's going on here. A vocary would really cater to the sherry notes of this and really go along well with that, but you would lose some of the complexity because of how many ingredients are in a vocary. This one, I would probably just sip neat or on the rocks. A good price point for this cognac, for the complexity and everything, I think if you could get it for around or under $50, you're looking at a great deal for it. I think you can find it for lower than that. And if you can, it's a really good deal. I think that this definitely stands up to a lot of whiskeys that I've tried. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, share this video around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.